Hello, my favorite mathematicians, and welcome to 4C1, Solving Inequalities, where our essential question is, how do I solve an inequality? Go ahead and grab your needed materials, your writing utensil, your math notebook, a growth mindset, and some determination as we tackle our learning goal and learn how to solve one-step inequalities. So let's go ahead and start with our vocabulary. What in the world is an inequality? Well, we happen to know that those EQU words mean equal. And if you put the prefix in in front of it, what do you think that means? It means not equal. So an inequality happens when things are not equal. Some characteristics they use, some different inequality signs. You have less than, greater than, less than or equal to, greater than or equal to, and they have more than one possible solution, more than one possible answer. Some examples might look like x is greater than 4 or x is less than or equal to 2. Non-examples, if it means not equal, are those things that are equal to. So here are the four different signs. Again, we have less than, greater than, less than or equal to, and greater than or equal to. So we would use inequalities in these different situations. If I tell you, for example, on the today's quizzes practice, you have to score at least an 80%. That means you can score an 80% or anything bigger. There's not one specific score that you have to get, okay? This is new in that our sign has changed, but it's not new because when we solve inequalities, we solve them the same way we do equations. So in that way, we're not really learning anything new here. Let's go ahead and take a look at our first one. 4x is greater than 12. Again, we're going to solve this just like if that greater than sign were an equal sign. So 4x means 4 times x. We're going to do the opposite or the inverse and divide by 4 on both sides. And so my solution here is x is greater than 3, meaning x can literally be any number bigger than 3. So some possible solutions would be 4, 8, and 10. Those are all bigger than 3. Some things that are not a possible solution would be 3 or 0 or even negative 12. Those numbers are not greater than 3. Here's another one using addition. 5 plus x is less than 30. Again, we want to get that x by itself, so we're going to subtract 5 from both sides, and that is going to leave us with x is less than 25. So possible solutions, any number less than 25, but some of those could be 20, 15, or 4. Things bigger than 5 or greater than 5 are not possible solutions. So 25, 30, and 47 would not work in this situation. One more that's just a little bit different because the x is on the right side of the sign instead of the left sign, but it's a subtraction problem. So we're going to do the opposite, and we are going to add 0 0.08 to both sides. And so this reads 5.3 is greater than or equal to x. And I'm going to go ahead and show you that we can switch that around, but notice if I move the x and the 5.3 around, I also have to switch that sign around so that it still says 5.3 is bigger than x, or x is less than or greater than 5.3. Possible solutions, this one can be 5.3 because that less than sign is underlined, so it means it can be that, or it could be 4 or 3.2. Things it cannot be, anything bigger than 5.3, so 6 or 8.8 .8 or 9.2. All right, mathematicians, this is the part where you pause and try the next set in your notes, and then come back and check your work. All right, so here are the problems you just worked and their solutions. I have not shown steps here, but hopefully you did that in your notebook. If not, please go back and solve those algebraically. Mathematicians, that is the end of 4C1, Solving Inequalities, where you can now answer that essential question, how do I solve inequalities? Let me go ahead and give that credit to Amy Grosbeck, Amanda Newsom, and Ron Lovely for their amazing fonts and clip arts. Mathematicians, go forth and be amazing.